Hello. Today we will be doing a very important theorem from geometry of circles and quadrilateral, namely the Ptolemy's theorem. We will be doing this theorem along with its proof as well as a CMI 2020 entrance problem which has the application of Ptolemy's theorem. At the end of the video, as a bonus, I will demonstrate an alternate proof of the Pythagorean theorem using this. So, let's start. Before I start, let me remind you of the good old inscribed angle theorem, which we did a few days back. The inscribed angle theorem states that the central angle, which is this is equal to twice that of the inscribed angle which is this now if you remember the inscribed angle theorem had a very important corollary so this corollary was the inscribed angle sharing the same arc or the central angle have the same measure for example in this circle the inscribed angle which is angle ABC is of the same measure as angle AB prime C. Now, this is because of the inscribed angle theorem which states that the measure of angle ABC is just half that of the measure of the central angle which is common to both these angles. Hence, they have the same measure. Now that we are done with this, let's pro proceed to the start of the show that is the Ptolemy's theorem. Ptolemy's theorem basically says that the sum of the product of opposite sides of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the product of its diagonals. This is a very important theorem relating the sides of the cyclic quadrilateral to its diagonals. Now, basically, if ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral, then AB times CD plus BC times AD aka the product of the opposite sides when summed equals the product of the diagonals which is AC times BD. Now let me give a short interesting proof of the Ptolemy's theorem. Now let's move on to the proof of the Ptolemy's theorem. Remember our objective is to relate the sides of this quadrilateral to its diagonals. So, how do we do that? First, we do make use of a certain construction. Now, what is that? So, I want to find a point K on this diagonal AC such that angle ABK will actually become equal to angle CBD. So, let's do that. And based on our construction, these two angles, that is angle ABK, is actually equal to angle CBD. Now also notice that angle BAC is equal to angle BDC. Now why is that? That is precisely because of our corollary of the inscribed angle theorem. Based on our corollary, the angles, inscribed angles sharing the same central angle or the same arc have equal measure. And notice that in this quadrilateral, these two inscribed angles share the same arc, that is the arc BC. So, in triangle, ABK and triangle DBC notice that angle ABK is equal to angle DBC and angle BAC is equal to angle BDC. Now 
two angles of two triangles are equal to each other that just means that these two triangles are similar to each other so triangle abk is actually similar to triangle dbc okay so now we make use of the fact that similar triangles have their sides proportional to each other what does that mean that basically means that this side ak by ab will actually be equal to cd by bd so ak by ab is equal to cd by bd now this somewhat gives us a relationship between ab bd and cd we need to make use of another similar triangle pair to arrive at another relation which will make a solve or prove the ptolemy's theorem so in order to do that notice that this angle that is angle adb is actually equal to this angle that is angle acb now why is that that is precisely because of the same reason that they share the same arc that is the arc ab and hence their measure will be equal to each other by the corollary of the inscribed angle theorem now notice that in triangle cbk and triangle dba angle cbd is equal to angle abk by construction and angle adb is equal to angle acb now two angles of two triangles are equal to each other which basically implies that triangle cbk is similar to triangle dba now again we make use of the same proportional theorem of the similar triangles which states that if triangles are similar then their sides are proportional to each other so that would basically mean that ck by bc becomes equal to ad by bd now we know that ak plus ck is equal to ac and remember we have a relation between ak ab cd and bd and also we have a relationship between ck bc ad and bd so we make use of that from this we can conclude that ak is actually equal to cd times ab by bd and from this we can conclude that ck is equal to ad times bc by bd and we add those equations that is this and this so on the left hand side we have ak plus ck which is equal to ac is equal to ab times cd plus bc times ad by bd if we cross multiply bd on both sides we get the ptolemy's theorem which is ac times bd is equal to ab times cd plus bc times ad which is basically the sum of the product of opposite sides and hence we are done 
with the proof of the Ptolemy's theorem. Okay, so let's analyze this quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So in this quadrilateral, the diagonals P, D and A, C are actually the diameters of the circle as per as the question. Now, remember that from central angle theorem or the inscribed angle theorem, inscribed angle is actually half that of the central angle. In this case, AC is the central angle as this passes through the center being the diameter and this, this angle will be 180 degrees. And that would mean that the inscribed angle, which is angle ABC, becomes 90 degrees. Similarly, angle ADC being the inscribed angle is also 90 degrees. And now, since BD is also a diameter and the central angle is 180 for the inscribed angle BCD, the inscribed angle BCD also becomes 90. And also, angle BAD is 90. Now, notice that angle ABC being a right angle makes triangle ABC a right angle triangle with height 12 and base 5. Then, using Pythagoras theorem, we can actually conclude that AC is equal to square root of 12 squared plus 5 squared which is equal to 13. Now, since we know the length of the diameter, we can proceed on to our actual problem at hand. Now, this diagram looks very complicated. So, we will make it simple by focusing on localized quadrilaterals. The first quadrilateral which we focus on is P A D B which is this so let's erase everything that is irrelevant to us sweet so now in this quadrilateral we mark the length of the sides which we knew so that we can go on to apply the Ptolemy's theorem which we just proved now so remember B D is just the diameter and as proved above length of the diameter was 13 and AB is 12 and AD is 5 because remember ABCD was just a rectangle and now PB is just small b PA is small a and PD is small d now, using Ptolemy's theorem, we know that PA times BD plus PB times AD is PD times AB. That is, the sum of the product of opposite sides is equal to product of the diagonals. Now, we just substitute the known values and we get the equation 13A plus 5B is equal to 12D. Now, let's move on to the next quadrilateral of interest that is the quadrilateral P A C B which would be this quadrilateral so let's draw that sweet so now in this quadrilateral P A C B remember AC is just the diameter and hence has the length 13 and BC has the length 5 and AB has the length 12 as per as the question. Now length of AP is just A, length of PB is just B and length of PC is just C. Now we have everything we need to apply the Ptolemy's theorem. So by Ptolemy's theorem we know BP times AC plus BC times AP is equal to AB times PC which is the product of the diagonals. Now substituting the relevant values we get this equation 13B plus 5A is equal to 12C. So we have two equations one is 13A 
plus 5b is equal to 12d and the next is 13b plus 5a or 5a plus 13b is equal to 12c so let's go back to our problem which asked us to find the ratio of a plus b and c plus d so and also it asks the ratio of a minus b and d minus c so it should be pretty clear what we have to do next so here we first add these two equations to get 18 times a plus b is equal to 12 times c plus d which gives us a plus b by c plus d is just 12 by 18 which is 2 by 3 now in order to find a minus b by d minus c we just subtract these two equations to get 8 times a minus b is equal to 12 times d minus c which gives us a minus b by d minus c is equal to 3 by 2 which is just 12 by 8 and hence we are done now on to the bonus content so as i promised i will prove the pythagorean theorem using the ptolemy's theorem so we have a right angle triangle of side length a b and c which is right angle opposite to the side c and we want to show that a square plus b square is actually equal to c square and how do we do that we do it by first inscribing this right angle triangle inside a circle so let's do that Now, we have managed to inscribe this triangle inside this circle. And if you remember, as we showed before, the hypotenuse of this triangle will actually be the diameter of this circle. We can similarly draw the side parallel to the base and parallel to the height to actually make this a rectangle so let's do that now these two are 90 degrees and since these are parallel these two are also 90 and rectangle. Now remember, this is a cyclic quadrilateral and we have the length of the sides as A and B and we have the length of the diameter as C. So now we can use Ptolemy's theorem on this quadrilateral. So, how do we do that? So the product of the opposite sides and their sum is equal to the product of the diagonals. So that means A times A plus B times B is actually equal to C times C. That implies A square plus B square is equal to C square which gives us our Pythagoras theorem. So this was the bonus content and a simpler way to prove the Pythagoras theorem. So that's all for this video. Bye.